Hi, I'm Eric Schmidt from WM Nobian Company. Today we're going to cover the Starfire receiver setup and operation through a GS3 2630. To get started, we'll go to our main menu icon, which is down in the bottom right, and we're going to select our Starfire receiver icon. This icon will look very similar if it's a Starfire ITC or a Starfire 6000. The first thing we need to do to set up is go to our setup tab on the top. We need to set our correction mode. If we're using SF1, which is a free signal, we'll select SF1. And we need to make sure that we have the correct frequency put in. For our area, it's 1545.9675. Then, we're going to put in the height of the receiver. The height is the area where the yellow meets the green on the receiver down to the ground. After we've put that in, we can go and check our hours on after shutdown. This will help with booting up the screen and getting position a little bit faster when you're during planting season or areas where you, you'll want your accuracy to build a little bit quicker. If you're not using that, if you're just using it you know, once every couple of months, I recommend keeping your hours on after shutdown low so that you don't have battery issues. Once you've done that, you can calibrate your TCM. recommend doing this in a flat open field. Pull into your field, and this is definitely done after you do your receiver height. You come into the calibrate button. You need to mark your axles both front and rear and the front and back of the tractor. On a 6R, 7R, and 8R, as well as a sprayer, your fixed axle will be your rear axle. On a combine and a 9R tractor, it will be the front axle. What you're essentially doing is hitting accept when you marked your first position. Then drive the vehicle forward about 100 feet and do a turn. Come back on the same exact line going the opposite direction. You want that same fixed axle mark on the same position it was before. When you've gotten that in the exact position again, you will hit accept. The next thing to do is go back to our info tab. Here we'll find our accuracy our GPS signal, and our Starfire signal. The GPS signal is the overall availability of satellites that you can see in the sky. The Starfire signal will be that correction satellite that is in the sky. If these two have good numbers, your accuracy will build. Thank you.